so. Okay, hey, um, we're gonna burn some magnesium in a crucible today. So this is a lab, and as you watch this, you're gonna wanna collect some data, um, and your teacher's gonna have you do some calculations. So I just wanna show you what we're working with. We have a crucible here, we have a crucible a lid, the scale, of course, we have a piece of magnesium. Magnesium's pretty malleable. You can tell it's a metal, shiny, high luster, malleable. Um, and then we have a ring stand with our, our, our burner. So these are, okay, on the scale we have uh, the crucible and lid. So you wanna record that, 58.83, okay? So let's now add the magnesium. I'm write this down now. So we, this is um, the magnesium crucible and lid. So you see the, the magnesium's in there. So we'll write down 59.36. All right, here we go. Like it's starting to react. So you see that bright white light? So I'm just putting the crucible lid on, on and taking it, whoop, taking it, right? Is this? Um, I'm gonna put it on, take it off, put it on. I'm gonna just continue doing that until the reaction's complete. How, do you, how will we know when the reaction's complete? Yeah, when you don't see that, that bright white light again. Now what I'm doing, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm gonna blow my breath into this, okay? So the temperature is really good. Let me blow my breath into this. So there's still some magnesium reacting in there, okay? All right, let me just continue, continue doing this. Now that white, that white stuff you see, that's some product. So we're losing some product here. And this is a quantitative lab. Um, we're gonna wanna see how close we are to the accepted value. I think what your teacher will have you do is figure out the percentage of magnesium in the product, the product's magnesium oxide. still some magnesium burning. Woo! This is the second time we've done this because um, the first time I did it, the crucible broke. It was pretty typical, this lab we... Okay, so this reaction is pretty much done. So what I'm gonna do is let this cool down for a little bit. So. Allison, you can stop taping it a little bit, but I'm going to take the crucible off the off the clay triangle. I'm going to just um, stir it up a little bit. Um, what I want to make sure is that all the magnesium reacted. So if there's some magnesium that was kind of like hidden and wasn't able to bump into an oxygen molecule or a nitrogen molecule, I'm just stirring it around just to ensure that all the magnesium, now notice what's on that stirring rod. Yeah, a little bit of product, right? Another unavoidable error, we call that, unavoidable. So let me, let me heat this up now, um, and we just wanna guarantee, all right, you can stop videotaping that. Oh. I'm gonna add a little bit of water, it's already cool. We, we wouldn't wanna um, put the water in a hot crystal. So, and then what I'm gonna do is show you with this red litmus paper um, that it's turning blue. Okay, so that's a clue as to what's being produced. Think about um, what's basic, what's a basic gas. And I'm gonna waft it too. Back up a little bit. I'm gonna waft it. And that's what I would have you guys do. Add a little bit more water, just a little bit more water. So, hopefully you've thought that, or you realize that ammonia is coming out of there. So we're getting rid of the nitrogen um, by allowing the ammonia to escape. So now all we have is wet magnesium oxide. Okay, so now what we need to do is heat this. We want to drive off the water. The magnesium is going to stay right there. The magnesium oxide, excuse me, the product. All right, so we're just going to drive off the water. And what I'm going to do is put the crucible lid, just kind of put it right right there so that, 
We don't want, you hear that sizzling. We don't want the water to boil and, and allow some magnesium oxide to leave the crucible. Right? I got a little carried away with how much water I put into. All right, so crucibles are designed to sit on crucible. Crucible lids are designed to sit on crucibles like that. So let's, let's just heat this up for a little bit, okay? Now, now, uh, now we're gonna mass at the end, right? And what's, we're gonna mass the crucible lid and the magnesium oxide. But it's really important to understand that you can't mass hot things. So let's go over here. I just wanna show you um, why that is. So imagine putting something really hot on a scale. So this is the crucible. So this cr hot crucible is gonna do what? to the air molecules, heat them up. And so we know hot air rises, so what's gonna happen is it's gonna produce a buoyant force, a buoyant force. So a hot crucible, a really hot crucible is actually weighs less than it really does, okay? So that's why it's important to let things cool, plus it's probably not good for the scale as well. So again, all these air molecules are gonna gain lots of kinetic energy and actually, lift the crucible up a little bit. And that's why we're gonna let it dry, okay? Or let it cool down, excuse me. Okay, stop it. All right, um, the magnesium oxide is cooled down. So we just added the water to get rid of the ammonia. So now we just have, that should just be magnesium oxide now in the crucible. So let's weigh crucible lid and magnesium oxide, 59.2. Seven six. All right, like I said, we really should heat this again just to make sure all the water's been driven off. So I'm going to heat it again. I'll just put the crucible back on the stand. Heat that up just for just for thirty seconds or so. I don't think I need a lid now because. Nothing's going to be splattering out. Okay, so we'll heat this for 30 seconds, let it cool, and we'll wait again, see if we have a constant mass. Okay, we just um, reheated for the second time the magnesium oxide. We get a mass here. Last time it was 59.76, now it's 59.69. You know what that tells us? That it wasn't completely dry. So. We haven't reached the constant mass yet. We're gonna heat it again, mass it again. 59.69. All right, we're gonna mass this um, magnesium oxide for the third third time, I believe. And look at 59.66. So the last time I think it was 59.69, so it's 0.03 difference. I think that's a constant mass. It's pretty close, 0.03 grams. So let's go with that. So that's your final mass, 59.66 grams is the crucible magnesium oxide in the lid. All right. So good luck with those calculations.